Hey guys, Nick here. Um, welcome back to a new series of videos that I'm going to call the Kit Bag Challenge. So what I'm going to do in these videos is I'm going to invite other photographers to come down. We're either going to hang out in a studio or on location somewhere, have a bit of a chat, talk about the gear that we use. Then comes the challenge. So I'm going to choose the gear that they shoot on. They're going to choose the gear that I shoot on. We'll go out, we'll shoot some portraits and we'll just have a bit of a laugh with it. To the kitbag challenge thank you very much for having me mate um so yeah everyone this is this is neil um neil is an amazing wedding photographer um and i'll pop some links down in the comments of his channel and some of his work um yeah thanks for thanks for coming on what it, seems to be a stupid concept no, it's a pleasure like <laughs> i love the fact that i only found out the concept like 10 minutes ago <laughs> that's fine um yeah i like to try and keep things a little bit secret because then people don't say no yeah um, that's true. <laughs> So, you've moved to Sony? Yes, yeah, about two years ago from Nikon, yeah. Yeah, an expensive move, but what I'm, I'm pleased that I did. So what are you shooting on now? A9s, two Sony A9s. And what's your go-to kit? 100% 35-85, virtually all the time. So I do that now, because of you. Okay. <laughs> so I went on one of Neil's... That's a good thing. Well, I went on one of Neil's workshops, um, so we both shoot weddings. I went on one of Neil's workshops and I think it was the first workshop I did, I came out of it and bought a 35 straight away. Oh wow. And then went into my next wedding, which was probably about a week later, and shot on a 35 for the majority of the day. And I was terrified because I was used to sort of standing back and shooting. Yeah, and stuff. it's a big um, it's a big difference. But it's changed it's an absolute game changer. I think it changes the way people work, it changes the way they shoot. Yeah, I would agree. Um, but that's not why we're here. No, I believe you're going to take, take the babies <laughs> away from me. Um, yeah, so I, I want to try and see what we can shoot on that's not comfortable. Yeah. Um, so what's in your bag? What I will you, show you. What have we got? What's this is not the bag that I have to take to weddings, I must admit now. No, it's, it's probably massive. Right. But my instructions would take everything. So lens-wise, that is my 85. Um, these are the 1.8 versions as well. I purposely don't have the most expensive ones because my priority is size and weight. So I want like small light equipment these days. So I think, I think I'm gonna get you to shoot on the 135. Okay. Cool. Mainly because I want to see what those images look like. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, I've not been working out recently though. Yeah, no, it's a beast. But yeah. Um, yeah, no, that sounds good. And I'm choosing one for you then, am I? Yeah. And what, what are my options again? So 35. I've got two 35s. Yeah. One of them's a Sigma, which is nowhere near as good as the Canon one. Um, I've got an 85, and that's a lot of batteries. Um, that's my Sigma 35. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a 17 to 40. Um, I love that lens. Oh, I was about to say, if I'm going to shoot on the 135, I think it'd be cool for you to have the opposite, so in other words, a very wide lens, but now you just said you love that, so we'll, we won't use that yeah, one. Yeah, the, the main reason I love it is because it's cheap and it's second hand and you can't really get them anymore, um, but it's beautiful. And I've got a 24mm and a 50mm. I'll tell you what then, we'll give you the 24. Alright, I'll go 24. So we're two very, di very different focal lenses. Then. Wonderful. Doing it, <laughs> doing it. Okay, right. So you're on a tripod, I'm holding it. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna take turns and shoot some portraits. Um, Neil's gonna shoot first. You can pick wherever you want. Yeah, I um, think we'll do natural light window like here. So yeah, so, you've, so you've, your instinct was straight for the windows, right? Definitely, yeah. Only reason being that the light, the light here is really nice. Um, and unless I'm gonna like, introduce a flash, then yeah, I, I'd definitely go for this window light.
how weird is it having a photographer that's like a million miles away to then having someone that's like right in your face? I feel like when Neil's over there, I feel like I can only imagine it like I'm so far away. When you're there, I feel like, oh my God, she's right in my face. It's weird. Obviously, I've not seen the pictures yet, so I'm like, I can't imagine. How was that? <laughs> it, was, um, it was good. It was good. It was difficult. Um, yeah, I'll, no, I'll, I'll give you that. Say difficult. Grace model made it really easy, but I feel as though, like with the with the one three five, you're very limited into what you can actually do. Because I think I think with the one three five, the it was seeing how far away you were from Grace. Yeah. Because if you're if you're that far from your model, like Grace was amazing. The click of the camera, the pauses, like she just moved, and it was dead. It was dead easy. I should turn that off. Um, <laughs> it was dead easy, and. I didn't really, I, I don't feel like I really gave that much guidance, but she, she knew what she was doing and it, it, was, it made it easier. But for you, you're so far away in that distance. Yeah, yeah. A, it, a lot of my portraits are about the composition. And when you're at 135, it's hard to create a good composition in a smallish space. Say small, it's, it's a huge space. Huge space. But, but it's not like got a lot of variety to it. So it's difficult to, to create something that is interesting because obviously like, in here, like you look around, you think, oh, it'd be cool to like underexpose all these lights to shoot down here. But, but that would be one to be on my 35. On a 135, it wouldn't really work. So that's what I found tough. And uh, the pure fact as well is that I don't really use that lens. So yeah. but no, it's a I'm, great size to do. I'm the same. I don't, I don't touch the 24. It stays in the bag for emergencies only. Because you almost found it weird how close you were. Like, yeah. Like, it just felt uncomfortable at some point. Especially when you've literally only just met Grace. Yeah, so we, so we, yeah, so Grace has, Grace has come down this morning, we've met for about an hour, and then I was almost sat on her knee <laughs> while we shot portraits. It's just, it's just weird, but yeah. um, thank you very much for, for coming in. Mate, it's a pleasure, I've really enjoyed it. Thank entertaining you. my stupid ideas. Thank, thank you for um, having me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. There will be more of these videos coming along. Um, drop some comments below if you know any photographers that want to get involved or you think would be great to do this with um, or if you're a photographer yourself and you want to get involved drop me a comment drop me a message um, there's some other stuff that we're going to do as well I think we've both got the Helios yeah we know a couple of other people I think a portrait battle <laughs> with ridiculous Russian lenses might be on the cards as well but thank you again um, and yeah, enjoy the images. I'll throw them up now. sat on the chair. That would be really useful. <laughs> is, it, is it on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. It's definitely on. Okay. <laughs> I, pre I pressed record.